A beam of alpha particle is incident on a thin gold foil. This is Rutherford's scattering experiment. And one alpha particle collides head-on with a gold nucleus and it is deflected back along its original path. Which statement can explain why the recall, recoil speed is small? Oh, comparing recoil speed of gold nucleus. Comparing with recoil speed of alpha particle. This is like a collision but on a nuclear scale. So before, before anything happened, you have a nice big um, gold nucleus. Gold. Which is stationary. Then a tiny little alpha particle come in and try to bomb this fellow. So after, bing bang boom, collision later, let's say they, they require in opposite directions. The small gold nucleus fly there, the big, small nucleus, sorry. Small alpha fly there, the big gold nucleus fly the other way. The gold nucleus is probably much heavier, right? So how do we compare that? Who's going to have more recoil speed? Probably the small nucleus. Because momentum is conserved and P equals to MV. If you have a very big mass, uh, your velocity probably have to be smaller. So if they exchange momentum, hmm, the difference in recoil speed will probably be due to their mass. Let's look at the statements though. Alpha particles are slightly deflected. Don't really explain the recoil speed though. It's a head-on collision. Slightly deflected? Huh? Doesn't really answer the question. B. Alpha particle and no nucleus repel each other. I mean, that's true. But it doesn't explain the recoil speed. Remember, explain. You're trying to explain. It's true, but doesn't explain. So, ah, uh, doesn't really help. C. The mass of gold nucleus is much greater than the mass of alpha particle. Oh, yes. This one is definitely what explains the difference in recoil speed. So, we can choose this. But let's check D just in case. D says the momentum of the alpha particle decrease as it approached the nucleus. True, but doesn't really explain recoil speed. <laughs> True. I mean, it moves slow, slower and slower because of repulsion. So this velocity actually is decreasing. So, uh, yeah. A lot of these statements are true, but doesn't really answer the question. So just remember, require. So if you are a small little human, don't go and collide with a truck. Because... Uh, we don't want to talk about it. Okay, never mind. Because it's just, why Why would you want to do that? You're going to fly away and the truck will just barely move back a bit. Not wise, not wise. That's all for this question 39.